Normally, we, we have, we're a regional, essentially, Ellington Festival, which is connected to Jazz at Lincoln Center in New York. And um, primarily, uh, we, we usually get about 12 to 14 bands. And it could, it could be more. We turn groups away. We want to keep it small. That way, each group can get a quality workshop and have time with the guest artists. Um, but primarily, most of the bands come from around the Midwest. This year, as far away as Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and then of course our own backdoor Michigan. Um, Rodney Whitaker here, who is the director of the program, he was a member of Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. Um, and so that's kind of, you know, beneath that umbrella of Winton um, and Lincoln Center is the essentially Ellington thing. And so Professor Whitaker is a huge advocate for the youth and for arts in the youth. And not only arts, but also um, instilling leadership qualities, um, you know, and, and these life skill, you know, these life lesson um, qualities in um, in the youth, and so um, the essentially Ellington thing is one way at um, at contributing to our youth and, and instilling those virtues. So I know that's a vision of Professor Whitaker's, which is one of the most admirable. I think for me is seeing the, seeing the high school kids perform, in some, some instances they're middle school kids here, and seeing their reaction to the crowd. You know, sometimes uh, some of the people haven't had that big of a crowd. You know, this is their first time when, we, when we're here in Music Auditorium on the festival day. You know, this place is 350 kids sitting in here listening to jazz. And for most of the kids, this is their first opportunity to have a big crowd to play before and to see the look on their face. They're excited. They see that crowd out there. They're excited. And then to see the kids enjoy the college kids play. You know, to look, see the look on the high school kids and they're looking up to the college kids or the guest artists. It's magical. We had John Faddis here for the festival once and uh, he conducted the MSU Jazz Orchestra just to see how much fun. Uh, the, the high school kids had and the community folks, it was just truly amazing. Most of the students are going to have an opportunity to um, to work with people who are, who are going to give them a gem of knowledge that, that they are going to use for the rest of their jazz careers and their jazz careers could be as short as the rest of their time in high school or it could be for the rest of their lives. But the information that they'll get in these few days or in that one day or in those few minutes, that'll last them a lifetime. So they're going to have that experience to have just this, this wonderful wealth of knowledge in between Jimmy Heath, you know, and, 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 and Atia Fuller and Jeremy Pelt and just, you know, all of the artists, they're going to have access. Uh, this year we have Tia Fuller, who, uh, who's an amazing alto saxophone. She's originally from Pittsburgh. Tia has an all-women group. Uh, her whole, and she actually uh, is a musical director for Beyonce's band. So if you've ever seen Beyonce's group online, Tia is the alto saxophonist in the group, and she's a music director for that group. But um, but I think that her drummer couldn't make it, so she has one man playing, a guy named Ralph Peterson, who's subbing for her drummer. So it won't be quite an all-female band, but it'll be a, it's an amazing band. You know, great great players and, and very exciting. Yeah. Jeremy Pelt is an amazing New York trumpeter who will be here. He'll be playing, he'll be judging the festival and, and doing workshops, but also performing with Tia's group that night. So it's exciting. So we'll have two men odd out in the group, but that's, that's okay. Tia Fuller, my first semester here, I was honored to perform with her and Ron Blake and, and, and Sean Jones at the Detroit Jazz Fest. And then I saw her take out her, her, her sax and, and I heard her play and I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to be, you know, and, and I was really honored to, you know, to, uh, to be here like my first semester and then the first thing I see is like a female saxophone player who's not trying to keep up with the boys, like she's right there like, hey, what do you got, you know? We have a legendary saxophonist by the name of Jimmy Heath who will be conducting and performing with MSU Jazz Orchestra One and he, he's one of those guys, he played with Dizzy Gillespie, John Coltrane and he grew up together. I mean, he's a living legend, and uh, it'll be amazing to, to get for our students to get an opportunity to, to work with Mr. Heath, who is full of humor and cheer. He's, uh, I think he's 84 years old. Jimmy Heath is pretty much history walking into a room, because he, he's played with 
almost every jazz artist that, that we study right now. I just want to go up to him and just ask a whole lot of questions, you know, and, and, and just find out what that experience was working with these people who are now considered jazz legends. I was lucky enough to have an improv class that Jimmy Heath taught when I was at Juilliard. Um, and I've run into him many times and he's such a great, great musician and a great person. It's always fun to have him around. Mm -hmm.